Right, I'll sort this all out later, I think. Just move a few of these logs out the way. I oh, will sort that out in a minute. Hi hey guys, welcome back to another Yonder Mountain adventure. Um, the weather forecast was for beautiful blue skies uh, and zero, count it, zero percent chance of precipitation, which of course is exactly what I'm in now. I seem to be in the middle of a Scottish cloud. Uh, I'm up in uh, the southern uplands, uh, I'm at Loch Doon, don't mind telling you where I am, uh, and I am in possibly, probably, definitely <laughs> my favourite new TP style hot tent, and I wanted to show you a little bit more of this as well, this is the Hill Zero Room Nobile, uh, it's a four person shelter, it's quite, uh, it's quite big. Uh, and it's super easy to pitch, uh, which I'm very grateful for, actually because it was absolutely pissing down. So I think what I'm gonna do before I come back to you is, I'm gonna get everything set up, because it's just a total, it's absolute carnage in there at the minute. Uh, and uh, I'll show you around, uh, and we'll put the fire on because it is cold, it's about four degrees Celsius already, and it's gonna get colder. So I think uh, before, uh, before any more cars come along, uh, right next to a road. I'll try and get the drone up just so you've got a little bit of an idea of the area. Uh, but before it pisses down and there's any more people turn up, let's get this thing set up. Fantastic. Right, oh, hey, where do I start with this thing? God. Well, I've managed to crash the drone. Let's see if we can go and recover it. Right, let's keep our fingers crossed. This is the first time. <laughs> it's the first time I've ever crashed it. It'll be around here somewhere. Look at the beautiful autumn colours. Oh, I can see it. Oh, no. Let's just see. Is this poor thing all right? Or is it knackered? Oh, well... I mean, it's hard to tell. Let's get it launched. Right, let's have a look. It's flying okay. There actually doesn't look to be any damage whatsoever. It's just a little bit wet and it's got a bit of mud on it. But otherwise, it's absolutely sweet as a nut. <laughs> right, enough of this tomfoolery. Now that I know the drone's all right, credit to the DJI Mini 2. That was quite a brutal crash into a tree and it survived. Fantastic, look at that tent. What a bit of kit that is. Uh, right, I'm gonna finish off getting set up. As you can see, it's murky, it's starting to get dark. I'm a little bit late to the party. I wanna get set up and get comfortable. Then I'll show you what we're having for tea. I'll show you the setup, all of that good stuff. Fantastic. Right guys, I'm gonna show you around. I've got it all set up, absolutely perfect. I've got it lit up. I'll show you the setup. Uh, the more astute amongst you might have noticed me head torch. This is the new Robocop, ho oh, ho ho, wow. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. Dead or alive, you're, you're coming, coming with me. me. <laughs> there we go. Uh, this is a serious bit of kit given to us by Slimo, the Slimo Slimmer Simmons. <laughs> right, I'll show you around. I'll put the torch on so we can see a little bit better. That's a thing of beauty. The Hill Zero Room Nubile. First things first, let's have a look here. I've got the cop bed. I have got the top down. So I didn't get the uh, I didn't get the ground sheet. 
but I've got the Amok uh, pad. That is like super thick and comfortable. I'm um, on the winter gear. This is the Leviathan EV900. I got me flex tail pillow. I'm just going to kind of go around here. So I've got me uh, the new all powers uh, power station there. That's the S300. Great bit of kit. That's just powering the light at the minute. And you can see that that's almost drawn absolutely nothing. And it shows it's got 14 hours or so uh, left to play. Cracking bit of kit. I've got my electricals down there. Another sun blesser torch just in case it's needed. But that's a cracking bit of kit. That's going to be powering everything tonight. That one. Absolutely, uh, absolutely class. Right, let's have a look at the food situation. I've actually got a couple of nights. Now, I don't know whether to cook up the beef lasagna in the oven or have a chicken korma with uh, long grain rice. This is all from Aldi, by the way. I think the beef lasagna was three quid. That was like £2.40 or something. And I've got some uh, lawn sausage sandwiches for in the morning. I've got plenty of water there. I've got some Ridge Thick Cut Crisps. The Essential Morning Scottish Rolls. I've got my uh, me dinner set up there. Some chocolate digestives, me, uh, me mug there. I've got the, uh, I think that's called like a tiffin jar. It's got coffees and sugar in and stuff like that. And then in here, we've got uh, some noodles, Vive Diet Coke and what have you. Absolutely spot on. That's obviously the uh, Pomoli Baker oven stove. The oven being on the bottom, I'm going to get that fired up. I bought the baking tray just in case it's needed, but otherwise, we've got the frying pan, we've got the kettle, and we've got a fine array of logs as well, guys. And that's the dreary, murky view you can see. The Thompson family limousine over there, the battle store's still getting fixed. What a place! Right, that's the uh, that's the grand tour of uh, I was going to say five million star accommodation, but. Uh, we we'll can't kind of say a thing here, there's going to be no stars tonight, that's for sure. I'm going to get the fire cranked up, I'm going to sit down, probably make myself a coffee, and then we'll have a little bit natter. Fantastic. Hey, the temperature in here is something else unbelievable uh, this tent is amazing um, I've got the um, the door propped open with a log uh, it's got double zips on so it means you can open part of it I just widen it up because the top of the stove I'm missing uh, the circular top part of it which I've got covered with the uh, with the kettle at the minute but just to give it some extra ventilation that's what I've done absolutely class uh, right guys I wanted to just quickly show you uh, the all powers because I've had a few questions off the back of uh, last week's video so I'll give you a quick rundown there we go guys this is very very lightweight very small this is the all powers s300 power station I'm not gonna do the full review now I'm just gonna basically just show you the basics of it there so you get a bit of a better idea so as with all of the all powers uh, power stations you get a fantastic display on there and it tells you what your wattage output is uh, and it's also got a battery meter on there. It also kind of tells you how many hours you've got left to run, uh, which kind of recalibrates. Um, it's got the one AC power, the three pin there. It has got uh, the USB uh, fast charging and it's got USB-C on there as well, which is perfect. And then you've got your buttons here, obviously your on off button. The button to activate the uh, the three pin and also the DC there as well. Really, really stylish looking bit of kit. What I particularly like is on the top of this one, you've got your wireless um, charging port as well, which is absolutely spot on. Uh, that's really actually uh, quite essential. Really good. That'll give you an idea. Uh, I know I've got massive bungle hands like, but that'll give you an idea of the real time size of it. If I um, just turn it around. And just prop it up uh, it's actually really good to see a really good light so that's one setting then it goes super bright and then you've got your strobe as well on and off which is absolutely spot on that's great on the other side 
Uh, that is um, your XT60, that is for connection with solar panels, which is perfect. I've actually got them, I'll show you them on another video when I'm doing the full review. And also your car charger there as well, the DC 12 volt. On the other side, uh, you can see it's well vented, the fans are there, and the normal kettle lead for power on it. There you go, absolutely class bit of kit. Guys, you don't have to break the bank to get something like that. Um, it's actually really, really affordable. Now that one is a 300 watt, 258 watt hour machine. So it will actually power appliances um, up to um, up to 300 watts, uh, which is great. It's got a surge protector. It's got all kinds of stuff. I'll put a link in the video description. If you guys are wanting to get your hands on it, I'm sure at the minute it's retailing at 179 which is um which is an absolute gift um but uh, all powers have kindly given us a 10 percent discount as well that's unique you'll not get that anywhere else i'll put a link in the video description and use the discount code code yonder mountain adventures or one word uh, put that into the cart and you'll get a further 10 percent discount well there you go guys bag yourself a bargain yonder mountain adventures discount code extra 10 percent off cracking bit of kit as all the all power stuff is and incidentally any other all power stuff the r600 the s2000 the r1500 same discount code applies what i will i'm gonna i really want to show you the tent but it's pitch black and i haven't really got a good lighting rig or anything like that so um tomorrow morning when we get up i'll show you a little bit more of the tent i'll give you a few dimensions few specs things like that of course the link for the tents in the video description as well uh, so we'll have a look at the tent in the morning in the meantime i'm going to crack open a can of vive probably have a chocolate digestive biscuit and make me mind up about what i'm having for tea mm. Right, there's very little finesse involved with this. Very little. It's all just getting launched in, basically. It's as simple as that. Right, guys, let's get stuck into this. Let's uh, see what the rice is like, first of all. Mmm delicious actually really really nice we'll see what the uh sounds like a massive plane going overhead <laughs> the chicken mm. oh that is nice do you know what i don't know if it tastes better because it was only 2.40 or if it's because we're in the hot tent because your dinner you know if you were to have this at home big deal but having it out here somehow makes it taste a little bit better mm. and I haven't found any cardamom pods either absolutely lovely yeah what a difference what a difference um, do let us know in the comments guys what your thoughts about the tent and the oil powers I'll be interested to see what you guys think uh, as always I'm not trying to flog anything, far from it. Um, it's really just giving you all the necessary information in case you are wanting to buy one or you're just gen you know, generally interested. But we'll have a good, um, we'll have a good look in the morning, for sure. Mm. Right guys, you don't want to see the rest of this carnage. I'm going to dust this off and um, have a finish off that can. Have some chocolate biscuits, I think, and then uh, I'm going to turn in for the night. I'll take this opportunity to say good night and God bless. I'll see you guys in the morning. Fantastic. morning guys welcome to another day at Loch Doon uh, dear me 
Uh, the time is now 9.45. <laughs> unbelievable, unbelievable. Uh, what a sleep I've had. What a sleep makes a difference. This, almost honestly, this Amok um, sleeping pad. Uh, it's about, I think it's about 11 centimetres thick. It's just like incredible. Absolutely unbelievable. Um, oh, it's time to get up, definitely. Uh, call of nature, first things first. Uh, get a cup of tea on the go and cook up these lawn sausage sandwiches and then I'll show you around the tent. Fantastic. Oh. Oh. Right guys, um, I've just set the fire away there just for the lawn sausages for some breakfast but I, uh, I'm going to give you a little bit of a run around, I'll give you some details on the tent uh, I did get quite a few questions about it off the last video and a couple of the Instagram posts as well so hopefully this will answer some of them It's not a review, I will do a separate review on it but uh, just to go through some of that now but Guys, let's first of all just have a look at the dimensions It's a, it's a big old thing It's uh, actually 4.2 Meters, 420 centimeters wide by 2.4 meters high. So that'll give you an idea of the actual uh, actual size of it. It comes with, I'll just zoom in a little bit for you. The stove jack already cut, beautifully stitched logo in there so you can see that the actual uh, stove pipe itself is just perfectly situated uh, on there. Attention to detail on this, as with all Hill Zero stuff is unbelievable. You've got your uh, double stitched. Um, and what I particularly like is on every single um, bit of stitching around there, all the way around, you've got guy out points as well. Uh, it does have snow skirts all the way around, which is going to be great for in the winter. And as you can see, all the stress points have been reinforced as well. But as you can see, it's certainly waterproof. It has been raining through the night and it's definitely waterproof. The material itself is 30D nylon. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, it is uh, silicon coated as well. 3000 millimeters static head units. Uh, so it is well and truly waterproof. What I particularly like is the uh, the chimney vents up on the top as well the zips are ykk waterproof zips and incredibly easy and they are double double zipped as well as you can see so you've got access there really really good i'm a big stickler for zips and uh and that's fantastic so currently on um, the Hill Zero website, this is affordable as well, by the way, $299, which is about 230 quid for a, um, for a hot tent of this size and of this quality, more importantly. I think it's an absolute bargain. It's an absolute steal. Uh, it's fantastic. I love it. It's, it's my favorite TP style hot tent. It's, uh, it's really good. I oh, absolutely class bit of kit. A little bit of water on the outside there. Right, it's breakfast time. Let's see how this fire's doing. Looks pretty good to me, like, looks pretty good. Let's see what we're dealing with here. So we've got our lawn sausage sandwiches. Let's get the pan heated up. These look ready. In fact, they definitely are. Wow, that pan is hot. Fantastic. Just sit that down there out the way. Oh. What a start to the day. I know it's a little bit of a late start, like, but. Mmm. Mmm. Fantastic. Mm. 
and um, it's actually quite cold as well so the, the fire is actually welcome as well well I'm going to spend an hour or so just chilling out I hope you've enjoyed the video so far I hope you've enjoyed looking at the tent and the bit of cooking that we've done and look at the stove and the power unit and all that type of thing beautiful setting it's a much clearer morning I'll set the drone up so you might get better views of the lock but uh, this is a lovely little secluded spot I'm going to do a little bit of tidying up because a couple of people have been here before set some fire pits away and uh, left some rubbish so I'll also take that away with us as well we're supposed to be leaving your trace Mmm, there's another guy and a little hot tent just over the way which I didn't even realise I thought I had the place to myself wow, what a place what a night right guys, I'll dust this off and um, it'll be a slow pack down for the tent which is nice and easy actually and the car's just there and then I'll show me goodbye Oh, what a place. Well, guys, that's me for another episode. I hope you've enjoyed this one. I'm down on the shores of Loch Doon here. It's beautiful and peaceful, really, really calm. And the autumn colours are still popping out, which is great. Uh, do remember, guys, if you've enjoyed this video and you like this type of content, do give us the thumbs up. It does help with the YouTube algorithm, but most importantly, it lets me know that you're enjoying the content and I'll keep doing this type of thing. Do click on the subscribe button as well if you haven't already done so and hit the notification bell. That way every time I upload a new adventure video, podcast or review video, you'll get a buzzer on your phone and you can come and check it out. Well, that's the car packed. The pitch is all tidied away. All the rubbish is away. And we're just about ready to go, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's been a great adventure. I've really enjoyed being in the Hill Zero room, Nubile Hot Tent. I'll do a full review to answer more of your questions, but hopefully that's given you a good idea. So guys, there's only one thing left to see. You know what it is. Make sure you get up off the uh, sofa, get away from the TV and the news and the doom and gloom. You know, people are starting to get worried about Trump and all kinds of stuff that's going on. Listen, guys, just forget about it. Get your backpack on and head out down to your local woodland or head out anywhere for that matter. Soak up some much needed prescription nature. And on that note, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you. I'm going to look forward to seeing you on the next You're on the Mountain Adventure. Bye for now. Oh, fantastic.